Hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We're joined now by Bruce Klosser, the cyclist, the coast to coast cyclist who just finished up a 109 day journey. And that just sounds so incredible. But right in the break, you were actually saying it's not as hard as mm. as people think it is. What was your main reason for embarking on this journey? You know, there's a set of questions that I get mm -hmm. all the time, you know, and they're, they're, and that's one of them. Uh, everybody asks that. It took me a long time to get an answer for it um, because I really didn't know <laughs> why I did it yeah. originally. But people do this trip, I learned from meeting people along the way who are also doing it, when they're in periods of transition in their lives. Okay, so yeah, they do it after they retire. They do it after they graduate. They do it after they've quit their job and they're trying to figure out what to do with their lives. Um, you know, it takes three months plus to do this. Not that, you know, it's not that easy to take that much time off. If you have a job, if you have kids at home, you can't just take off three months and, you know, and go ride your bike across mm -hmm. the country. Um, my wife died a year ago. Um, so, you know, that's a transition for me. Um, so that's probably had a lot to do with why. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It just seemed like the appropriate time. And then, uh, and then my, uh, I have an ad not officially, but unofficially adopted son uh, who is from, originally from Nepal, uh, and he lives in California, and he was gonna do it with me. He said, why don't we do it together? And uh, yeah, that would, be, that would be fun. But then it, he works in, uh, in tech in the Silicon Valley, and j just about that time, the layoff started out mm. there. So that was not a good time to ask for four months off from, from work. Yeah. <laughs> so you did a solo trip. So I said, well, I'll do it myself. Yeah. yeah. So a time of transition, yeah. an incredible journey. You know, my biggest question that I've wanted to ask you is how did you change? How did it change you? Who were you when you left? And w who were you when you returned? Did it change you? <sighs> Boy, that's hard. For, it's hard for me to judge. It might take some time to yeah. even reflect on that. Yeah, it it certainly gave me some more confidence. Uh, when I started, I didn't really know if I could do this. I th I thought I could, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I've, I've been a bike bicyclist for for some time, and and I've I've done fifty mile rides. I've done hundred mile rides, but just one. You know, this. This doesn't ask you to do one. It asks you to do it day after day after day after day after day after yeah. day, and that's what I didn't know. I was, um, but it, as, it, as it turns out, yeah, I, I could. Um, so by the time I was about two weeks into it, yeah, I, I knew I could, barring some catastrophe. You were in uh, a rhythm. Yeah, I, I could, I could do this, and my body responded well. Yeah, um, and I, I could do it day after day. Uh, and then, it, and then eventually, it becomes uh, a routine. It's like getting up and going to work. Mm -hmm. you, know, you get up and ride your bike, you know, and <laughs> and you ride for five, six hours, uh, you know, and then yeah. uh, and, you're, and then you're done, you know, and then the next day you do it again and you do it again, and so you're putting together these little modules, you know, okay, and they're all similar. I mean, the terrain is different. Some days are really hard. Some are pretty easy. Uh, some days you get a headwind, which is rough. <laughs> Sometimes you get a tailwind, which is really fun. Um, but you're just stringing these little modules together. So you don't, ha you don't have to ride 4,000 miles. You have to ride 45 miles or 50 miles and then do that over again. Mm. You know, and, uh, I mean, even doing 45 miles at a time, that's still quite the impressive physical feat, if yeah. you will. But it sounds like it, was, it's, it feels at least to me, it feels more of a, a spiritual journey. How was that solitude for you? And yeah, there's. It's as much of a of a head, a head mm -hmm. thing as it is a physical thing, uh, um, because sometimes you know, sometimes some days are, are hard, and uh, I, you know, I, I had this this day <laughs> which I've talked about before, where where I was climbing this really hard, hard hills, and uh, and. This hill was particularly hard, and I was getting discouraged and thinking about why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah. Whose idea was this yeah. anyway? Do I even want to do it anymore? <laughs> right. Yeah. And, th and then I thought, well, you know, um, you got two choices here. You can you climb this hill, or you can sleep in the bushes. <laughs> you know? So which is it going to be? Right. And I just said, well, okay, I'll climb the hill. And then, and then it occurred to me that this is a, it's, 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 this is a hard day. 
but it's not a bad day. Mm. Uh, and there's a distinction there. You know, we have a lot of, of hard days in our lives, but they don't have to be bad days. They're just hard days, that's all. Uh, yeah. And, and, and that, that helped me. And then the, the idea that every hill makes me stronger. Yeah. That was my mantra, you know, as I'm going up. Because at the beginning, um, I mean, I physically I gained a lot through this. Through the, you get stronger, you mm -hmm. really do. Mm -hmm. um, but, and you hit, you hit mountains starting at like day four. Uh, first three days are pretty easy, and then and then it's just full on mountains. Yeah. Um, well, I want to take. We have to take a quick break, but mm -hmm. I want to hear more about what you saw. Sure. Because I can only imagine the vistas, the yeah. landscape. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back.